<laughs> Working as a movie usher, you get to meet a lot of people. I met this guy in the lobby. He wore a dress and he talked really funny. He started telling me about his parents. It's strange how people will tell you about their personal lives. Kind of like what I'm doing now. <laughs> strange. <laughs> <laughs> My name is McTavish McDougall. My mother and father. They are the greatest parents a son could ask for. My mother was a short French Canadian woman who stood about five foot two. She was a fighter with a kind heart. When I got older, I said to my mother, I didn't realize how short you were. She says to me, I never feel short. I always feel six feet tall. My father, on the other hand, was a Scottish coal miner. He stood about six five. He'd do anything for my mother. I remember on the weekends, usually Saturday nights, once a month, my dear old dad would get smitty. That means drunk. <laughs> that was something my brother, my mother, and I did not look forward to. He'd drink his belly washer, which was beer, and of course scotch. What a mixture. But that wasn't as bad as his musical selection, which comprised of two musical artists, Hulk Williams and Edith Piaf. <laughs> Hulk Williams, he was a country singer. According to my father, when he was smith, he'd say, Hulk Williams, he's a musical genius. But to me, it was some guy crying about his wife leaving him, about how his horse was the only faithful thing in his life. <laughs> Hank Williams. I tell you, if I had to listen to Hank Williams, it would drive me to drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you love me like you used to do? How come you treat me like a worn-out shoe? My hair's still curly and my eyes are still blue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? <laughs> Ain't I had no loving like a hugging and a kissing in a long, long while. We don't get nearer, further, or closer than a country mile. Why don't you be just like you used to be? How come you found so many faults with me? Somebody's changed, so let me give you a clue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? Come on, everybody. Let's clap them all. This is the fun part. <laughs> Come on, let's go. survival. She was called a little sparrow because of her booming voice for a woman who stood just under five feet. According to my father, when he was smitty, he'd say, Edith Piaf, she sings from her hairy pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can figure out what hairy pie means. <laughs> he'd also say, Edith, she's a real nabbit. Which means nymphomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> Edith Piaf. No, no regrets. No, I will have no regrets. All the things that went wrong. For at last I have learned to be strong. No, <laughs> no regrets. No. 
I will have no regrets for the grief. It is gone. I've forgotten the past. <laughs> <laughs> then my father would get in a drunken pride mood. Then he'd want my brother and I to sing an old Scottish bar song. I belong to Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> if we refused, he'd slam his fist on the table and say, Are you with me? Are you against me? Well, are you with me? Sometimes to mess with dear old dad, I'd say, I'm against you. The English word. Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> he'd slam his fist on the table. My brother and I start to laugh. My mother would give me a dirty smirk and say, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I belong to Glasgow. I belong to Glasgow, a dear Glasgow town. But what's the matter with Glasgow for? It's going around and around. <laughs> I'm only a common working chap, as anyone here can see. But when I get a couple of drinks on a Saturday, Glasgow belongs to me. Everyone, repeat after me. When I get a couple of drinks, are you with me or are you against me? Repeat after me. When I get a couple of drinks, when I get a couple of drinks on a Saturday, on a Saturday. Glasgow belongs to me. Glasgow belongs to me. Finally, the night would end. Oh. My mother would support my father by walking him to bed. <laughs> the next day, my dad would not apologize for his behavior. He'd give my brother and I twenty dollars each to go see the movies. I think it was his way of saying sorry. After my mother passed away. My father says to me, your mother was the right lass for me. I was lucky to have met her. She was one in a million to think of some of the bitches I could have married. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what bitches are. <laughs> I asked my mother once, did father ever say he loved you? She says to me, he doesn't have to. I know by what he does for me. His actions speak strong girls and words. I don't need to hear the word love. I know he loves me. That is the Scottish way. My mother also said to me, you have to be tough with women today. They get away with murder. <laughs> My mother was a great woman. I never came. You can't find her like that anymore. God broke the mold when he made my mother. Oh, I forgot to mention my brother. Oh, he's an ape. Ah, he's a strange character. He's got this condition. My father says, in the old days, royalty would banish out the bad family members and send them to another country. But I'm not that rich. You see, my brother, <laughs> he's bipolar. You could say he's got a dual personality. He's happy one moment, and then he's sad the next. He's kind of sad knowing he's not happy. He's on disability, so the government provides him with his own apartment and own money. My father says, your brother has died and gone to heaven. I wish somebody would take care of me in my old age. That's why it's important to have family. To look past the bad faults and look for the good qualities. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this kilt or what looks like a kilt. It's to honor my father and mother, but most importantly, Scottish pride. <laughs> well, I got to be going. It was nice talking to you, lad. Mm. I belong to Glasgow. Here at Glasgow. <laughs>